Hi people of Grace, Pastor Brian here for your monthly video update for the month of October. Uh, it's been great to be able to see those of you who are returning to in-person worship with us, and we are so grateful that we have been blessed to be able to provide live streaming, which you can also watch after the fact, uh, for those of you who are still worshiping with us at home, and we are so grateful for uh, all of the understanding that you have done as we've kind of worked through this process uh, and continue to do so as we move through this fall. And speaking of the fall, at the church we've resumed our fall ministries like we always do, which include my Wednesday Bible study. And we begin to study Martin Luther's Freedom of a Christian. So far we did an overview of the document so that we could become familiar with it. As the title suggests, the document is what it means to be free in Christ. At the core of it all, as I see it, is really the great commandment that we hear about in Matthew 22, verses 34 through 40. Summed up like this, love God and love neighbor. When we free ourselves from all the things that hinder us from loving God and neighbor and self, then we truly are able to live lives as God intended us to live. Here's probably the most important part to understand about what it means to be free as a Christian, according to Luther's letter. And this is from the document directly. The Christian person is a completely free Lord of all, subject to none. The Christian person is a completely dutiful servant of all, subject to all. And Christians do not live in themselves, but in Christ and their neighbor, or else they are not Christian. They live in Christ through faith and in the neighbor through love. Through faith, they are caught up beyond themselves into God. Likewise, through love, they fall down beneath themselves into the neighbor, remaining nevertheless always in God and in God's love. That's found on uh, I believe pages 10 and 32 of the document. So we are freed by Christ from the power of sin, death, and the devil, which means we are completely free. Yet at the same time, as a result from and response to that freedom, we are called to live out that love, forgiveness, and freedom by serving our neighbor as God has called us to do through Christ Jesus. And really, this is basically what I tell every confirmation class that I've ever taught when we talk about the idea of grace versus works. Grace frees us from the bondage of sin and the law and the works that are associated with it. At the same exact time, we should gladly do works in response to that great gift of grace that was freely poured out for us. Those works should point to the one who gives us life. That's what it means to be a free Christian, freed from everything that could bring us down in this world, and to live a new life in Christ that involves serving our neighbor so that they may experience that same life-transforming power of the gospel that we have experienced. That is the freedom of a Christian. And I love how Luther talks about it. And if you want to learn more about it, you can join our Bible study, or just if you want to study it on your own, email me and I'll give you the study guide and the document. As a final note, I wanted to share with you something that was very impactful for the Bible study group when we read it. It was from the study guide. And the study guide says this about one of the ways in which we experience sin in our lives. And I found this a very unique way of talking about sin. We sin when we fail to value ourselves as God values us. In fact, the freedom of a Christian comes from knowing ourselves as passionately loved, completely accepted, and fully forgiven by God in Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Please, never forget that you truly are passionately loved, completely accepted, and fully forgiven by God in Jesus Christ. 
even and especially during this difficult time of pandemic. Fully and completely accept that you are loved by God through Christ Jesus. God bless you all, people of grace. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And I'll see you in a video like this next month.